So it wasn't uh, the easiest of nights. I haven't slept that badly since they announced they're cancelling Power Rangers. Um, and to be honest, this bite itches. It's been feeling weird all evening. Well, all morning as well. Um, unfortunately, I can feel the change starting to kick in. I think this is the moment I was hoping would never come, but part of me still knew would. To all the people I've known and met and loved over these uh, past 20 years, I love you all, even if I may not show it sometimes. My thoughts are with you all. Especially Elise. Good luck, girl. You're gonna need it. Kinda wish it didn't have to be this way. On foreign soil, but... I guess that's just the life that, uh, The, um, hands that life deals us. Oh well. For the final time, signing off. So... Scott's been zombified. I'm the only one left of the three who's still a human, and it's terrifying. <laughs> I've been in bed all day, and I've just been watching the um, watching the website as the zombie numbers steadily go up, and the human numbers steadily come down. And I'm just thankful that I don't have class tomorrow, so I don't have to leave. So hopefully, I feel that's the only way I'm going to survive another day out here because people are just getting picked off left, right and centre. It's possibly the most terrifying thing which has ever happened to me. I've never felt so alone. As you can see, I've joined the horde of undead. Last night, I spent uh, a lot of my time in Blue Ridge with friends, trying to camp out, be safe. About 7.30, decided we should get some food. So we open the door and look around. There's three zombies by one of the entrances to the dining hall. So my friend said that they'd go and try to open a door for me. I started to run around the side. One of them saw me, started shouting, HUMAN! HUMAN! And uh, I started booking it up to the center courtyard where the fountain is. Three more of them came from that way. So I made a beeline for another exit in the dining hall pegged a girl with a sock on the way and I could hear his footsteps behind me and I thought, I thought in my head, I could just peg him with the sock ball, but I didn't. And he just got me right on my back and it was all over from there. Mm -hmm.